In this video, we got a very nice problem. The problem is if 200 is added to a positive integer i, the result is a, a square number. So to a positive integer i, if we add 200, then the result is something square. So here we take a square. And now it is given that if 276 is added to the same integer i, another square number is obtained. So to the same integer i, if we add 276, then we get another square. Suppose b square. And now we have to find the value of i. So here, if we take this equation as equation 1 and this equation as equation 2. So we have two equations, but the variables are 3, a, b and i. So if we try to solve these two equations, then if we subtract equation 1 from equation 2, I mean equation 2 minus equation 1, then equation 2 is b square is equal to i plus 276 and equation 1 is a square is equal to i plus 200 and if we subtract these two equations then here i and i will be cancelled and we get b square minus a square is equal to 76 or we get b square is equal to 76 plus a square. So now we get a single equation and from which we have to find the value of two variables a and b. So one method to find the value of a and b is here 76 plus a square is something a square. So if we try to put the value of a is a 1 and a 2 and 3 and so on. I mean if we put a is equal to 1. So 1 square plus 76 will be 77 and 77 is not a perfect square. So a is equal to 1 is not possible. And similarly, if you put a is equal to 2, then 76 plus 4 is 80. And 80 is also not a perfect square. And similarly, we put a is equal to 3 and so on until we get 76 plus a square is a perfect square. So we can easily find the value of a and b by this method. But the only problem is we don't know the value of a. So a may be anything. Suppose the value of a is something like 102 or any higher value. Then by putting all values from 1 to 102 takes hours of time. So here I am going for a different approach. So if we try to put these values in a formula, so in terms of a square we have a formula that is x plus y to one square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square and now if we try to equate these terms then b square must be equal to x plus y to one square and 76 must be equal to x square plus 2xy and a square must be equal to y square. So here we get 76 must be in the form of x square plus 2xy and here 76 is even and 2xy is also even then x square must be even so x cannot be odd number 
so the possible value for x is 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 x cannot take 10 or higher value because 10 square is 100 that will be greater than 76 so if x is 2 then x square plus 2x5 will be 2 square plus 2 into x into y and here we get 4 square plus 2 into x into y and if x is equal to 6 then we get 6 square plus 2 into x into y and here we get 8 square plus 2 into x into y and now if we try to find the value of y then here 76 is equal to 2 square plus 4y so y will be 76 minus 4 by 4 that will be 72 by 4 so here we get y is equal to 18 and here we get y is equal to 76 minus 16 that will be 60 by 8 so 60 by 8 is a rational number so here the y is not natural number and here y will be 76 minus 36 that will be 40 by 12 and 40 by 12 is also rational number so here also y is not natural number and here we get y is equal to 76 minus 64 that will be 12 by 16 and 12 by 16 is also not natural number so here also y is not equal to natural number so we get only one pair of x and y that is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 18 so the value of b will be b is x plus y that is 2 plus 18 so we get b is equal to 20 and the value of a will be a is equal to y and y is 18 so a is 18 and now the first equation is i plus 200 is equal to a square so first equation is i plus 200 is equal to a square or i plus 200 is equal to a is 18 so we get 18 a square and from here we get i plus 200 is equal to 324 or we get i is equal to 124 so the value of i will be 124